Hi, this is Miss Cox Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to convert PDF files into Microsoft Word documents. Now this is very helpful for teachers because we often will print out a single page of a textbook, like this for example. We'll print out one page of a textbook that we have a class set of, and maybe students have a set too, but the problem often is that you want students to annotate the page, and students can't really annotate a printed page in a textbook unless you don't mind students writing in the textbook. So oftentimes we make copies of one page or two pages here and there, but the problem with that is, well, it's not in color for one. It's really nice to be able to see these diagrams in color. And there's limitations on how you can collaboratively annotate this. So one solution is to change this into a Microsoft Word document. So if you go to convertfiles.com, this seems to work best with, um, well not work best, this seems to be one of the better converters for documents that have a lot of images and diagrams. So what I'm going to do is click on choose a local file, and I'm going to grab this gas file, and here it says input format, it's PDF, and I want it to output as Microsoft Word. You can also output it as several other options. I'm going to go with Microsoft Word, and I'm going to go to convert. It will upload, and it will go through the conversion process. Once it's done, you'll be able to download it. Now, while this is going, the key here is this could then be put into a Google Doc. Once you have this as a text document, you could make this into a Google document, and then students could annotate that much more easily than a PDF document. So let me show you what this looks like now that this is just about done. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not actually done. That was uploading. Okay, it was wishful thinking on my part. I'm going to pause while it finishes converting. I think it takes about one minute, two minutes. Okay, and now it's done. All you have to do is click on the link, and it will download. And it's kind of hard to see. Let me make this a little smaller so you can see. So it downloaded. If I open it up, you can see what it looks like. Oop. Looks like this, and you'll see this is actually text, which is amazing. Um, instead of it just being an image, a lot of the PDF converters that see this kind of text will just make this one big image, which is not helpful if you want this to actually be text. And you'll see it does a couple of weird things here with the images. Um, and I think I just did something strange there. I'm going to control Z and undo whatever that was. Or no, I don't know what I did. So it does a couple weird things with formatting, but on the whole, this seems to be the best option. You'll still have to go in and touch it up a little bit, but you won't have to type the whole thing in, and the diagrams are in. So you'll see it's a pretty close comparison. It's not bad at all. Now, from this, what do you do with it? Well, first off, let me save it on my desktop so it'll be easy to get to. And right now it's rich text. I could convert it to a different format if I want. For now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Actually, if I convert it, let me convert it to a Microsoft Word document. The benefit of changing it to a Microsoft Word document is you see how this now is kind of a, um, the images are a little more normal. <laughs> um, you probably want to convert it to a Microsoft Word document just so the images kind of straighten out, basically. Um, if there's text above or below the images, it'll be a little less confusing to the system. Then I'm going to save it again. Save as, gas, das, desktop. Okay, now I have that document saved. What do I do with it? So here, I'm going to go to Google Drive. And in Google Drive, basically what I need to do is click and drag over my document. You could do that, or you can also go to the little upload file, and you just pick out your file that you want to upload. So I'm going to upload my converted document, my document, or my uh, Microsoft Word document, and then you should see it come up in your list. What you're going to do is right click on it, go to open with. If you go to Google Drive Viewer, it will show you a preview of what the Microsoft Word document looks like. But if you click here on Google Docs, it will actually convert it into a Google document. That's what we need to do for it to change it from Microsoft Word to Google Docs. This will then allow you to share it with students and have students annotate. 
The only downside is, as you'll know, oh, as you'll notice, it is a little bit strangely formatted. So you may need to do some tweaking. So for example, you may want to change um, the page setup. So you might want your page to be a little bit different um, with more normal margins. Um, you could, yeah, there's lots of stuff you can do to kind of fix this up a little bit. You may want to select all the text and change all the text to be black. So it's a little darker. Um, you may want to go back and touch up a few things. For images, wrap text means that they're kind of movable and you can move them around so they're next to the text. So as long as they're wrap text, you're free to move the images around. It may have added too much space in, in certain places. So it probably take you maybe five minutes to do a little editing here and you'd have this ready to go. Um, the great thing here is that students can then come in here and comment on different parts in Teams. They can go back and try to solve problems. If you wanted to add in some questions or problems, they'd have to explain you know, their answers and maybe argue with each other about you know, why their answer is more correct than somebody else's or vice versa. Good arguing, of course. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope this is helpful. I do think for this kind of complicated document with diagrams, convertfiles.com is the best way to go. If you have a more straightforward PDF that's just text, there are a lot of other PDF converters that work well too. But when you have different diagrams, I would try this convertfiles.com. It's free and it works pretty well. It's pretty quick. And then you can just add it into Microsoft Word. Or, well, then you can save it in Microsoft Word and add it into Google Drive and create a Google document from it, which is all a little confusing. But in the end, if you do this a few times a year, maybe once a month, this would be really helpful for students. Absolutely. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to let, leave questions in the comments section or email me at MissCoxTech at gmail.com. Thank you.